Um, welcome to this class. We call it creativity and innovation. And uh, let me introduce to you, let me begin by saying that uh, you are welcome to this interactive instructional module that uses both action and collaborative learning styles that provide you with diverse online learning experiences and effective learning processes. This module introduces you to the basic concepts, principles, and issues in creativity and innovation. The module begins with clarification of the concepts, nature, and scope of creativity, and this enables you to clearly see and appreciate the distinction between creativity and innovation. In other words, the key ones or the key concepts here are creativity and innovation. Are they the same? We shall know. Uh, we shall look at their importance or their significance in the 21st century skills in education. Yeah, the course will be building on that foundation and then we will proceed to discuss creative thinking techniques and skills that are acquired to develop creativity and innovation as deliberate and purposeful endeavors. The module further examines types of creative thinking to help you further understand the scope of creativity and appreciate that creativity is achieved through a process, a process of learning and education. The module then delves into the models of creative thinking the obstacles to creativity and the obstacles to innovation and goes on to provide useful suggestions of how these, these obstacles can be surmounted. After clarifying uh, the foundational concept and principles in creativity and innovation, the remaining parts of the module concentrates on application of creativity and innovation. And innovation in diverse ways. Um, or in diverse aspects. In lesson six, we look at the process of creativity as a deliberate and purposeful activity that emerges from analytic reasoning, not merely spontaneously, and assess its practical implications in everyday life. The module investigates the role of nature. It investigates uh, the role of nature. And uh, um, 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 it investigates um, not just nature but nature in creativity and innovation. And this helps you to clarify and correct the misconception that being creative and innovative is an inborn talent only available in the lucky few. Of course, in the past, we used to say leaders are born. Today, we say leaders are born. No, leaders are meant. Take somebody to school, make him a leader. Teach him to be a leader. He'll be a good leader. But those so-called leaders are born, are no longer working. All development is natural, it's evolutional. Just as a tadpole progresses from a tadpole to a frog, 
development is just evolutional and natural like that. That's a fallacy, a lie. It doesn't work. We now know you have to go to school and prepare somebody, teach somebody, show some, somebody the way, and that works. So building on the understanding, we proceed to explore the role that an education that is truly quality can play in nurturing the creative and innovative potential of the learners. In the same breath, we also clarify the view that creativity and innovation are truly human endeavors present in both men and women. We, however, acknowledge that there are variations in men and women expression of creativity and innovation. The module then explores the role of creativity and innovation in advancement of professions, research, academic pursuits, leadership, and development. Finally, the module concludes with a section on ethical issues in creativity and innovation. This provides a framework um, uh, within which we can assess creativity and innovation from the perspective of what is good, desirable, and worthwhile for any given society under the sun. Having said that, I take you now to the course outline itself. You can see the first week uh, it is to uh, know one another. That's the preliminaries or introductions. The other one is about definition and nature of creativity and innovation, which we are going to do today. The other one week is all about critical thinking techniques and skills. We shall try a bit of it. The other one is types of creative thinking. There are many types of creative thinking. We shall look at them. The other week is all about models of creat creative thinking. Six is the creative pro process and its practical application. The other week is about nature and nurture in creativity and innovation. The other week is all about the role of quality education in development of creative, cre uh, creativity and innovation. The other one is gender issues in creativity and innovation. The other one is creativity and innovation in professions, research, and, ac and academic disciplines. Number 11 is creativity and innovation in leadership and development. The other week, the final one is all about ethical issues, ethical issues in creativity and innovation. Now, from there, we now uh, look at uh, some materials here, and uh, we shall look at it uh, specifically. We shall look at it and uh, see whether uh, it will aid us in understanding some of these things as part of our uh, maiden introduction to this unit. So we look at it. You see, I'm also organizing the web in your computer. That side, I posted it on the screen. What I'm doing, you can see. And uh, uh, it's all about uh, try, trying to understand what this cre uh, creative thinking and critical thinking is all about. Now, we can begin there by defining uh, creativity and innovation. Uh, so creativity itself is the act of producing new ideas, new approaches, and, and new actions. Or innovation is a new way of looking at and changing them. Uh, one scholar by name, Chris Stevens, defines creativity as the ability to generate and use insight. Creativity has traditionally been defined as the, as the ability to respond adaptively to the needs 
for new approaches and new products, or as the ability to bring something new and valuable into existence, purpose-free. Now, there are three concepts that are very commonly associated with creativity. Number one is imagination. Number two is problem solving. Uh, number three is struggle. In other words, a creative thinker uh, has to struggle and understand, as Nelson Mandela once put it, there is no is a walk to freedom. It's freedom is not a walk in the park. You don't just get it. It doesn't come in a silver platter. There is also problem solving in creative thinking. We expect the learner in this subject uh, to learn how to solve a problem, not to keep on crying, be, uh, being a crying baby. Cry babies are those fellows who keep complaining over little things rather than, uh, you know, swinging into action and solve the problem. Solve the problem, swing into action and solve it. Don't wait for the big man the big brother, the big sister, no, not at all. There is also imagination at that point. That is, uh, imagination-related ones are like unique, spontaneity, spontaneity, uh, instinct, giftedness. A creative person has to imagine what if I move this route? What if? How will it be that day? How will it be if I do this or the other? There are a lot of imaginations for a creative person. Imagining is part of growth. The other one I've noted is problem solving, uh, which includes concepts like in intuition, concepts like competency, concepts like organizations. The third one, struggle again. I tell you that struggle is correlated under the premise that creativity is not easy, as new ideas will come after deep, deep thinking. So you struggle till you get to the mountaintops of success. Sadly, most people do not exploit their full potential their full creative, creative potential. In other words, they do not imagine, they don't think enough, they don't imagine enough, they don't focus on problem solving exhaustively. Rather, they are mere winners or agitators who complain over this or that they are complaining a nation of winners or people who are agitating or complaining rather than problem solvers is a nation that is moving in the wrong direction. They also lack a clear model to guide and sustain the flow of their creative juices. So creativity by contrast is the ability to imagine new concepts and eventually generating new ideas as needs arise. So what is the nature of creativity? Now creativity is the intellectual ability to make creations, to make inventions and discoveries, discoveries that brings novel relations, entities and or unexpected solutions into existence. Creativity is the gifted ability of humans in thinking, inference, problem solving, and product development. Creativity is the basis of our human nature, and it is the product of both biological and cultural evolution. It explains the good, the good and the evil that defines us as individuals, as a society, and as species. Now, what are creative thinking tools? The tools for creative thinking include brainstorming, okay? 
you brainstorm on many radical creative ideas. It includes brain lighting, okay? That is enabling everyone to share their creative ideas through writing. Reverse brainstorming is another tool of creative thinking, okay? That is taking a different approach to brainstorming. The other one is star busting. Another one is uh, Crawford's strip writing method. Another one is round robin brainstorming. The other one is raw storming. Yes, all that and many others. How do we develop creative thinking? We, the same way is more or less the same question. We do it by brainstorming ideas, brainstorming sessions. Okay, this can go a long way in generating ideas. Law, we also law pre scenarios in order to develop creative thinking. We also reframe the issue in order to develop creative thinking. We also make the most of creative flow. We also stay open minded and flexible, not dogmatic, not functional fixation. We remain. Uh, open-minded we keep the final one as a way of developing creative thinking keep your ego out of it don't suffer from any complex superior or inferior keep your ego out of it now innovation what does it refer to we have looked at it but we can still say this innovation is simply defined as development of new methods of production and establishment of new management systems and exploitation of uh, value-added novelty in, in economic and social spheres. It is both a process and an outcome. It is a process through which value is created and delivered to a community of users in the form of a new solution to be called an innovation an idea must be reliable at an economical price and must satisfy a specific requirement. Now, in business, innovation often concludes when thoughts or ideas are applied, are applied by the association to further captivate the needs and demands of the customers. Now, innovation uh, synonyms with risk taking uh, risk taking factors and organizations that create revolutionary products or technologies take on the greatest risk because they create new markets on the whole creativity is the capability or the act of conceiving something original or unusual in or unusual so innovation is the implementation of something new and innovation can also be said to be creation of something that has never been made before and is recognized as the product of some unique insight so on another way, another way of looking at it is that creativity is the intellectual ability to make creations, to make inventions and discoveries that brings novel relations, as we have noted, entities and all unexpected solutions, solutions into existence. Uh, creativity is thus a gift and ability of humans in thinking in inference, in problem solving and product development as noted earlier. And in view of this, our course drives us to think about three concepts. This concept are innovation, another concept is invention, and the third one is creativity. So you can see we started as creative, creative and uh, innovative thinking. Now we have also invention. Now we also have invention as a land concept. Of course, we have redefined this. And I redefine it again by saying that innovation is the process.
of turning a new concept into commercial success or uh, widespread use. The, the second one is invention is the creation of a new idea or concept. The third one is creativity is the act of turning new and imaginative ideas into reality. So at the end of creativity and innovation, at the end of creativity rather, there is reality. In, at the end of imaginations, there is reality. There is therefore invention. There is also uh, invention and innovation. There is in invention and in innovation. They are different. So what's the difference between creativity and innovation? Creativity is the capability or act of conceiving something original or unusual where innovation is the implementation of something new. Invention is a creation of something that has never been made before and is recognized as a product of some unique insight. Now, if we happen to invite stakeholders meetings and brainstorm over how to build our institution or our country, we will most likely come up with very new ideas. Hence, we eventually display creativity. We only become innovative when we implement something that comes out of the said meeting. For us to be innovative, therefore, we must take risks, risks by implementing our creative ideas, however fearful. Otherwise, creative ideas must be converted into innovation. And an invention might be a product or device or method that has never existed before. So every invention is an innovation. But every innovation is not an invention. When your company first published its website, in its website that, in its website, that was a major innovation for the company, even though many other websites already existed. When they published in its website, that was a, a, a creative way and to an extent a major inno innovation. So we have a tendency to think of innovation as a new product, yet we can innovate with a new process, new methods, new business model, partnership, route to market or marketing <coughs> method. Indeed, every aspect of your business operation is a candidate for innovation. One scholar by name Peter Drucker once said, every organization must prepare for the abandonment of everything it does. So do not restrict your vision of innovation to products. Because as this scholar said, every organization must prepare for the abandonment of everything it does. Yeah, that is in order to give room for creativity. Now, some of the most powerful innovations you can make are in business methods and customer services. If we look at companies like Safaricom, Kenya Railway, and Cooperative Bank of Kenya, we see that their great innovations were with their business models rather than in new products. Now, innovations can be incremental or radical. Of course, there are various types of innovation as we, as we shall see uh, in the course of this module. Now, every improvement that you make in products or services can be seen as an incremental in innovation. Now, most businesses and most managers are good at incremental innovations. They see problems in the current setup and they fix them. 
Now, radical innovations involve finding new ways of doing things. As such, they are often risky and 